experiential learning in En-ROADS, how to create powerful experiences that embed these new ideas into people's heads in ways that they're actually going to be able to do something differently in the world. One founding principle that we often say or one quote, new information doesn't change people's minds. New experiences do. New information, just hearing facts, doesn't change people's minds. But new experiences actually does. Here are my top six tips about how to really bring forward experiential learning in En-ROADS. So number one, try the game. It's a role-playing exercise, the climate action simulation. It is wild and intense and people get really into it and it is really powerful. We actually have done some studies on these experiences and people actually change their minds. 81% of the people who emerged from our world climate role-playing games reported that they were more willing to take action on climate because of the experience. 81%. Try the game. Or if you're running the workshop, make it like a game. At the start, saying, all right, everybody, we're going to be talking about climate, but we're going to play a little game. We're going to try to get that number, 3.6 degrees, down to below 2 degrees. You say that word, now we're going to play a game. People just smile. They open up. They want to play. They want to play with you. Number two, build tension by asking people to predict what's going to happen in the future. I've described it before as a way to really make sure people learn the insights. But it's also just fun and engaging. And if you have people predict it and someone gets it right, make a big deal out of it. You can say, oh, you got it right. Let's see if you get the next one. People like that kind of competition. It fires good brain drugs, gets them engaged and interested. The other thing people need, number three, is they need to see the graphs changing a lot. Human brains detect small changes in things. So hit the replay last change button a lot so that you keep the lines moving, people notice the differences, keep things dynamic in that way. It can be very powerful. Number four, personalize hypotheses. When people talk about whether they say, someone says, Juan says, I think temperature is going to go down to 3.1 and Sally says only 3.5. Really personalize it if it's not disrespectful to do so. To say, oh, Juan thinks this because of ABC and Sally thinks that because of DEF, show the different thinking and then come in with the model and say what's going on and acknowledge how they were both right in some way. Get people drawn in and, and kind of uh, bought into being right about this or that. And it creates an, an interesting tension, but excitement and engagement in your workshop or in your game. Another one is that in the game and the workshop, we encourage to take a minute of silence to consider what people would love about being part of a future on track to make something like your scenario happen. Definitely take the time to do that. It's what we call a pattern interrupt. People have been in this mode of like, make a change, see the result, talk about it. Make a change, see the result, talk about it. Boom, 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 there's a certain pace. And then when you stop, and get silent and have something very different, it allows for different things that you can't guess to happen. People come up with remarkable statements they report interesting insights. They have feelings that are powerful. Take the time with the minute of silence. And number six, make the space for people to talk to each other. They need to talk to their peers to process this, but also to have the experience with other people of going through this journey that you're creating with En-ROADS. All right. Those are the top six ways to make sure that you're having the En-ROADS experience be a big experience. I hope that was helpful. Go get them.